Do your colleagues know? Oh no, I mean they wouldn't understand and I don't really want to make people feel uncomfortable. How would I even tell them? What, well, I used to kill people for a hobby. You know, maybe I could bring it up at like a leaving drinks, I suppose, but no, not right now. What job are you doing now, Stephen? I'm a bus driver. It's not a bad gig actually, you know, it gets me out of the house. Obviously there's a lot of people, so the temptation's there. You know, luckily, I'm behind a pane of glass, so... Why did you stop? I suppose it was life, you know. Getting married, having kids, that's the big one. Oh, I mean, I just didn't have the time anymore. You know, people don't realise, I think, how much work goes into murder, you know, if you want to use that phrase. Um, it's not just like wham, bam, thank you, man, and just like sort of <laughs> smash someone's head in. You know, especially nowadays, you've got DNA, CCTV, um, also, there's just like the craft of it. I used to just look to the classics, you know, I'd sort of read all the books. Ted Bundy was a big one when he was good at what he did. I mean, if you're looking for the British ones, Sutcliffe. You can't look past Sutcliffe. It's a labour of love. If you're not going to do it right, I personally don't think you should do it at all. Some people would say you shouldn't do it at all. What would you say to those people? I mean, I can't please everyone. Can I? You know, no one can. My parents always said, just do what makes you happy. And, uh, you know, God rest them. Stephen, how many people did you kill? <laughs> More than enough. I mean, if I'm honest, I don't actually know. You sort of lose count after a while. Hi, guys. Sorry to interrupt. Anyone for tea? Oh, no thanks, dear. I'm fine. Can we get you anything? We've got the lot. No, I'm good, thanks. Guess what she just asked? Go on. She asked how many. As in how many people? <laughs> More than enough. <laughs> Thank God. I mean, I'd be right for the job otherwise, wouldn't I? <laughs> <laughs> no, but in all seriousness, he's had his fill of all that. I have. Um, I mean, my heart's so full of love now, you know. Don't get me wrong, what I used to do, oh, it was an absolutely massive buzz, but... You know, I think what I've got now, I just, I wouldn't change it for the world. Aww. Yeah, come and get a nut, mate. <laughs> I mean, that squirrel's probably seen some things, you know, some of the things I used to leave around here. I'd be here, out, douche, and then just drag, like that. But now that's gone. It's ruined that, isn't it? This is one of my favourite spots. I used to sit here for hours. You know, I used to have my CD player and I had a nice little lunchbox. I'd just wait. Oh, I did always like music playing. This place must hold a lot of memories for you. Oh yes, you know. It used to be much quieter though, it's very busy now, a lot of dog walkers, you know. Which is fine, but it just means there's dog mess everywhere you walk, you know, you can see litter everywhere, just right there, look, bag of crisps. Someone's just chucked that on the ground. It's mad, isn't it? Ooh, some... Oh, it's a shit! There's a shit in there! See that? It's a shit in an old bag of what's it's Unbelievable. I mean, can't help but think, you know, in this age of Instagram and Snapchat, that maybe people have just lost sight of what's important. And that's single-use plastic as well. I'm gonna have to take that home with me. Stephen, isn't this where you used to leave the dead bodies? Biodegradable. Do you ever feel guilty? Do you? I haven't killed anyone though, Stephen. <laughs> haven't you? We all have, haven't we, you know? Have you got an iPhone? Do you drive a car? I don't think that's quite the same thing, Stephen. Well, it is not for me to say, is it? So, no feelings of guilt? Do I feel guilt? I mean, yes, in the sense, you know, that many of the people I killed are no longer alive. But, you know, it's complicated. Yeah, scar. 
is the place. So on the first Thursday of every month, a few of us meet up. It's a nice little group. We call it uh, SCAR, which means Serial Killers Anonymous. Oh, so do you get into a bit of reggae as well, a bit of Bob Marley? Oh, no, I mean, we tend to just like sort of talk about serial killer things. How long has it been, Stephen, since you uh, uh Three years. Really? Three yeah. Years. Wow. We've tried to wait that long, but really we haven't managed it. Yeah. I, I tell the woman who books the place out that we're a book club, you know, it just feels like the perfect cover. And I can always keep a book around, you know, if she shows up to check. So I'll be like, Oop. this week we're reading The Remains of the Day by Kazuo Ishiguro, which I did actually read. And um, it sounds like it's going to be like a murder manual, but it, it turns out it's just about a butler who falls in love. Do the old knife to the gut. Yes, yeah. if you open up the knife to the yeah, gut. Nice. Oh, classic. Who's in the group? There's me, obviously. Uh, there's a lovely couple called Darren and David, who are so nice. And, you know, they, they have poker and curry nights at theirs. They're just really hospitable lads. There's Tim, who's a lovely young chap, but he doesn't actually come anymore because he recently joined the priesthood. Then there's Lydia. Yeah. And then you go like that. Um, Lydia's new um, and you know it's just nice to have a bit of female energy around the place you know it's not just an old boys club hello everyone Hi, Hi. Stephen. thanks for coming again um, has anyone got anything they'd like to share you know maybe since last time has anyone had any major cravings remember it's a safe space I've got something to say. Oh, yes, Darren. Um, Why don't you stand up? Of course, I'm sorry. I think that we should have better biscuits. I mean, it's every time we come here, it's Bourbons, and I just think some diversity at this point would be most welcome. Thank you, Darren. I agree. You know, I think we need to get something with a bit more, more heft, you know, a chunky, more luxuriant biscuit, not Bourbons. I like Bourbons. It's OK, guys. Tell you what, why don't I get both? Get better biscuits. Bourbons. Uh, I mean, sometimes there's nothing to talk about, really, and it just becomes like a place where people can come and hang out, you know, and have a cup of tea just away from the world. Now, we know in psychology that a lot of people do look back to childhood instances. Is there anything that you know that might have pushed you along that way? I'd love to say yes, but to be honest, I had a lovely childhood. My parents, they were lovely people, normal. You know, I genuinely think it was just a calling, one of them things you just think, I, know, I think I'll be good at this. Stephen? Stephen? Ah! <laughs> <laughs> That's good. you. Yeah, scared both of you. What do you think? So, um, this is what you used to wear when you killed people? Yeah, it's a bit of a homage, really. You know, I sort of always loved Fred Astaire and Singing in the Rain. You know, they're amazing. And uh, I absolutely adore the Lucha Libra. You know, it's a sort of sheer theatrics of it. It's amazing. That's quite a costume. I actually forgot just how hot it is in here. Oh. I need a hand taking... No, fine, thank you. Oh, I don't really want to walk down that particular avenue of my life any time. Stephen, love, there's a couple of men at the door who want to speak to you. From the police. From the police? What did you tell them? Nothing. But Stephen, you haven't killed again, have you? No. We've spoken about this. I haven't, honestly. OK. Oh, it must be an old one. Oh, God, it's when I did Ken from the Barbers oh, down the Ken, road, yeah. I remember. Yeah, I, I left the bloody Ken. glove, didn't I? Nice oh, he's got my DNA of the glove. Christ, on a bike. Mm. I knew this day would come. Oh, I think we should switch this off now. Yeah. So get out of my way. I mean, Wendy knows this part of my life. I don't think she loves me any less, and I mean, I certainly don't love her any less. It just is what it is.
there definitely was one that, you know, I remember for, you can't plan for this. You know, my, my standard technique was jump out, hammer blow to the back of the head, mm. knock them out cold. Mm. You know, I didn't want them to be awake during it, you know. Mm. In a quite selfish way, it wasn't for them. You know, it's for me. If anything, you know, it's a shame they had to be involved at all. But um, I once jumped down, bang, went to whack them on the back of the head. Absolutely no idea. They'd had a head injury probably previously, I presume. They had a metal plate in the back of their head. Mm. Almost, it's like ringing a gong, you know, just... They turned round, and in fact, I, I just had to, just, I apologised and said it was a mistake. Just went back to the car and just, I mean, I don't know what they think was happening. 